I was sitting with my mother, uh, Caroline Bush Emini, one day, and she said, Mary, you know, there's such good music here. I really would love to s inspire an acoustically excellent facility for the music that's here. She said, Amarillo should have a world-class, acoustically correct performing arts center. You have to have the backbone to actually build it. There was a lot of backbone. So now we have this beautiful stage to perform opera and of course the symphony. It's also a work of art in itself. It's hard not to get distracted by the textures and the feelings that you get just from being in this space. This particular hall compares very favorably with some of the best halls that I've been to in the whole world. The Amarillo Globe News equals and surpasses what I have been involved with in my career. We could always invite any artist to come in here and perform. Whatever their interpretation is, whatever they feel like they want to say, this hall will help them get that voice across. Each musician wants a different kinds of environments, and this hall can provide all of those. It's like the old adage, it's not what you're saying, but how you're saying it. And this building allows us more how we're saying it. When Carol Bush Emini had the vision for this performance center, she wanted children to be able to come and be inspired by the building and the arts within it. Window on a Wider World is the educational component of the Performing Arts Center, and we are proud to bring science, technology, engineering, math, and art programs to students and schools in the Texas Panhandle. We challenge you to help us inspire the next generation with the spirit of excellence. Communities build facilities like this maybe once every hundred years. The Globe News Center for the Performing Arts has done more for Amarillo than anything in the artistic field so far. The Globe News has passed the initial test of time. There's a tremendous life to it. It's spectacular for all of us. <laughs>